Thomas A. Oakley, the former president and CEO of Quincy Media Incorporated, has joined a very prestigious group of television pioneers. Mr. Oakley received the Gold Circle Award from the Mid-America Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. That is the same group that presents the Regional Emmy Awards. Anatis Mid-America Executive Secretary Chad Mahoney, who was also WGEM's News Director, presented Mr. Oakley with the award this afternoon. Gold Circle honorees have served in television for 50 years or more. They are true industry pioneers. I've had many industry honors and I've had lots of community and, and regional honors, but uh, this is really a, this is a big day and thank you. Thank you all so very, very, very much. Hi, it's Chris Katz from KNBC TV in Kansas City, working at home like so many of you. I'm also executive vice president and chair of the Gold and Silver Circle Induction Committee for Natus Mid America, the Emmy people. The Gold Circle is a collection of people who are true pioneers in the business. And Tom, when it came time for our committee to consider the impact that you have had on the industry, especially within the region, your induction into the Gold Circle was a pretty easy call. Tom, congratulations, welcome to the club. And here's a look at just a few more of your many accomplishments. Thomas A. Oakley joined Quincy Newspapers Incorporated, now Quincy Media Incorporated, full-time in 1954. He became president and chief executive officer in 1969. At that time, the company consisted of the Quincy Herald Whig newspaper, WGEM-TV, AM and FM, and a portion of ownership of a New Jersey newspaper. Under Mr. Oakley's leadership, QMI began its major expansion into television. By the time he stepped down as president and CEO in 2008, QMI operated television stations in 10 markets, in addition to two radio stations and two newspapers. Today, the family-owned company remains vibrant, operating television stations in 16 markets, with nearly 100 program streams, as well as two radio stations and two newspapers. Mr. Oakley was actively involved in industry affairs, including membership on the National Association of Broadcasters Board and chairman of the Television Bureau of Advertising. He also held leadership positions in the newspaper industry. Despite his very impressive work in the media industry, Mr. Oakley's greatest legacy may be in economic development, specifically in the advancement of highway transportation. He played a leading role in bringing three national corridors through the region that connect Quincy and the tri-state area to the rest of the United States and are critical infrastructure for economic development. His leadership was acknowledged in 2009 with the naming of a portion of the Chicago to Kansas City Expressway as the Thomas A. Oakley Highway. After stepping down from his role as president CEO of QMI, Mr. Oakley remained active in the company through 2017 and remains on its board of directors to this day. He also remains a consultant to the company and is still active in transportation and economic development. Thomas A. Oakley, a true television pioneer in mid-America. I'm Steve Grant from KY3-TV in Springfield, Missouri. As president of Natus Mid-America, it's my pleasure to welcome Thomas A. Oakley to the Gold Circle. Tom, congratulations on this very high and rarefied honor. We salute you and sincerely thank you for your service to our industry. Thank you. Thanks so much. Congratulations to Mr. Oakley from all of us here at WGEM News. We have more on this story on WGEM.com, including a slideshow of historic photos.